With a good run this NBA season thus far, Klay Thompson's success with the Golden State Warriors can only give him more brand endorsements, one of which is in the footwear category. Today we have the performance review for the KT1, Thompson's first real signature shoes with Anta. I say real because the first few models weren't truly his signature sneaks. With that said, let's go on to the performance review. Here's a brief rundown of the materials for starters. Upper is primarily a softer type of fuse, and there's some mesh at the sides. The heel area has some additional layers of uh, a rubber and plastic compound for extra support. There's also a TPU heel counter, and uh, midsole is full length EVA. Outsole is solid rubber with a soft and pliable herringbone pattern. In particular, the toes comprise what Anto calls the Control 5WD. Now this also has a TPU shank at the midfoot that extends a bit to the medial and lateral. Lower tongue is soft mesh, while upper tongue is some type of synthetic rubber. Laces are the flat type though somewhat curved. There is some internal padding at the ankles. Overall this feels light on feet but do not feel too durable compared to most shoes I have played in. However, durability concerns on this are a question of time and length of play, so longevity may still be up for reconsideration. These have amazing traction on clean courts and even on mildly dusty ones without having to wipe once throughout your game. If you want traction that is both squeaky and grippy, the Anta one can be one of your options. Now the excellent traction is the result of the combination of the rubber compound, aggressive herringbone pattern, and pliable treads. On very dusty quartz, you may need to wipe a bit, but that's just about it. Transition is also excellent. Now every step flows smoothly from heel to toe. Add to that the superb court feel mainly due to its low profile. To a certain extent, the Control 5 WD gives extra control at the toes during turns and push-offs, but it's not really too noticeable, especially if you are too busy minding your game instead of the shoes. Overall, traction, transition, and court feel are really above average. Just refrain from playing with these on rough surfaces as the soft treads will most likely wear out fast. Full-length EVA foam is used for cushioning. No break-in time is needed at all. It provides ample impact protection right off the bat. The foam itself is more on the soft side, and it isn't very bouncy. Instead, it is most suitable for absorbing shock on all types of movements. But EVA foam can have longevity concerns. Now my pair had several compression marks at the midsole right after an hour of playing. Now on one hand, it's a sign that the cushion is absorbing enough impact right on the get-go. On the other hand, the quick compression is also a sign that the EVA foam is quicker to bottom out than other types of foam that are on the stiff side. Heavy hoopers may not enjoy the cushion too much, but lighter players may find the Anta KT1 as having a rather softer ride that is forgiving on the knees. This also features a removable EVA insole for step-in comfort. Nothing fancy there, but it works. In sum, the cushioning is more guard-oriented, and it is between average to a little above average in terms of performance. I normally wear a size 11, but I was only able to pick up a size 10, since it was the largest size available on release day. Surprisingly, the size 10 didn't feel too tight once I laced up my pair for court play. In fact, it just felt right and comfortable even after I laced all the way to the top lace hole. I could have opted for a 10.5 had it been available and everything would have been perfect. So I suggest going a half size down at least. The lacing system is pretty much basic. Overall, the laces pull the fuse material at both lateral and medial closer to your feet, thus giving you adequate containment at the midfoot. Also, there are cutaways at the ankle and midfoot for added flexibility during forward movements. This has small windows at the sides of the mesh upper for breathability. In essence, ventilation is average. The windows allow some heat to escape, 
particularly the heat that the main fuse type upper material traps. Overall, the fit can be a hit or miss if you don't figure out the size that suits you most. Ankle lockdown is excellent when I laced all the way to the last lace hole. Now it can restrict range of motion, but personally I liked the feel and setup of it. Now if you're looking for mobility at the ankle area, the most that you can do is to leave the last lace hole, perhaps even the last two ones, or I suggest to try to look for other low top shoes. But if you like ankle restriction without discomfort, the Anta KT1 is a viable option. Now there is an external TPU heel cup that does a great job at minimizing internal sliding at the heel, while the ankle collar and internal pads at the ankles provide excellent rear lockdown and comfort. The extra layers of rubber and plastic compound at the ankle area also add support during sharp cuts and turns. The fit also gives additional support. Now if you get that pair with the perfect size for your feet, expect superb containment. The outrigger, however, seemed pretty useless because it bends very easily. While it really protrudes, it nevertheless flexes noticeably during turns, especially sharp angled ones. Good thing that the base of the forefoot is wide. There is also a TPU shank at the midfoot that doubles as medial and lateral posts for extra protection against skidding off the footbed. In sum, the Anta KT1 gives really good support, particularly for guard type players. The Anta KT1 does feel like it has cheap materials, but make no mistake, it is a serious contender for being one of the top go-to shoes for hooping within its price range, at least for me. I wasn't really expecting much at first, but I was eventually converted, especially considering the materials used. They're not top of the line, but they get most of the job done quite efficiently. Well, maybe except for durability. That much I can concede, although that is still wide open for reconsideration at this point. I give the Anticlay Thompson one a grade of B+, which is equivalent to a grade of 87 to 89 out of 100 points. Thanks for watching!